Naturally Beautiful Girl. This is a video that I've had a plan for for a long time and it's taken a lot of planning because there was a lot of research that had to go into this. So one of the products from 100% Pure that I found that I really like overall are their lipsticks. However, there's a lot of different formulas on their website and it's really hard to tell when you're looking online what each formula is, how they're different from each other, and which one you might like best. So I thought it would be really useful and of course, you know, because I don't mind trying out a whole bunch of lipsticks, to try out one from each formula and compile them all in one video and give you a comparison of each formula, what I like about the formula, what I don't like about the formula, and um, also so you can see some of the colors. I obviously don't have every single color. I just, for most of the lipsticks, I only have like one color of it but you can see what that color looks like on me. That's one problem that I have, and I'm sure that you probably have too when shopping on the 100% Pure website, is that they don't have swatches of all these different uh, lipsticks. So you kind of have to guess what color you think um, you want. One thing that I found personally in this, in this journey of purchasing different lipstick colors and trying to get colors I actually would like is to read down in the reviews because most people will kind of try and describe better what the color actually looks like because I find that the way that 100% Pure describes the colors is really inaccurate. When they just show a picture of the lipstick in the tube or in the bullet, it's not how it shows up at the, on the skin at all, and I think that's a consequence of the fruit pigments. So anyway, long story short, this is going to be a video comparing all the different formulas of 100% Pure lipsticks, and hopefully you find this useful, and <laughs> stay tuned, it's going to be a while. So the lipstick I have on my lips right now is their new semi-matte formula and I have the shade Prickly Pear and it comes in this really nice bullet. I really like the packaging for their semi-matte lipsticks and it twists up like this and this is what the color looks like. And I was not expecting the color to look like this at all. It is a lot brighter in person than what I thought it was from what I could read online and the few pictures of it I'd seen online. So this isn't a color I would normally go for, but this is what I've ended up with. One of the really interesting things about this lipstick is that it is an actual lipstick bullet. Most matte lipsticks that we find are some sort of liquid lipstick that dries down into a kind of matte finish, but this actually starts out in a bullet in a matte finish. And so because of that, it feels really weird when you put it on. I don't. There's no other way to describe it other than weird. The closest makeup product that I can think of to describe how this feels is it feels like putting on a lip liner all over your entire lips. Like it's a very dry formula. It is not creamy at all when it goes on. So there's never a minute where this is creamy and it dries. It is just kind of a dry formula from the beginning. When it gets on your lips, it also feels, the closest feeling I felt to this is to some of the ColourPop matte liquid lipsticks and when they dry how they feel this is kind of what this feels like. So it kind of goes on like a lip liner and then it feels like a ColourPop matte liquid lipstick. If your lips are dry, if they have wrinkles, it will accentuate all of that and I don't know if you can tell on my lower lip right now, my lower lip is dry. This really shows that. Also, I don't know if it's just this lighter color, but it is a little bit patchy on me when I first put it on. If you look at the video of me putting it on, you will see that I had to go over it a few times to kind of get the coverage that I wanted. So that is a caveat with this one. It is very long lasting. That is one thing that is really awesome about this lipstick. If you're looking for a natural lipstick that is going to stay on and stay on, this does. And it does transfer a little bit. It's not kiss proof. If I kiss my husband, he's gonna have this color a little bit on him, but it is not nearly as bad as almost every other lipstick that I've tried. So this is a very long lasting and minimally transfers. 
And even when it does transfer, it's not like, oh, you're missing color now from your lips. They still have the color. Like there's so much pigment on that it doesn't look patchy when it starts to transfer. It really doesn't fade that much throughout the day. And when it does, it fades very uniformly. It's not patchy in terms of fading. My main complaints about this is it is drying. It's not at all moisturizing, not at all hydrating, and it will accentuate any dryness or lines that you have on your lips. I think this is a formula that I would like a lot better in the summer when my lips are not as dry, but during the winter, it's not my favorite formula. They released these um, kind of in the fall of 2016, so they have a relatively small color range. And now we know that Prickly Pear is a very kind of bright corally pink and not, I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but I did not expect it to be this color. So overall, I would say if you are looking for a natural matte lipstick, this is really awesome. It's a really great um, matte long wearing lipstick and that in and of itself is something that's really hard to find in green and eco beauty. Okay, so I accidentally forgot to show this uh, being applied, so you're gonna have to pardon me for that. This isn't a lipstick, but it's another lip uh, product and this is their lip gloss. So I've got two other lip glosses and the one I have on is the Gemmed Lip Gloss in Rainbow Aura. Here's what it looks like. And I also have, and I don't have this one on, I only have you know, one on at a time. I also have their Juicy Lip Gloss in Cherry. And so I wanted to make a couple of comments about these. First of all, both of these have completely different formulas. This one, the gemmed one, is sticky. This one is not sticky at all. And I got this one in a set with uh, lip caramel and some nail polish. I don't really like lip glosses. And I figured out why when I found this, because I actually like this. And I like this because it's sticky. And I know a lot of people don't like st sticky lip glosses, but I like them because they feel super moisturizing and they really stay on my lips well. So that is what I liked about this. And I was concerned about it because you can um, see, I don't know if you can see that well in the bottle, but in person it is super glittery. Like there is glitter in this lip gloss, but I have it on my lips. And that's why I wanted to show you this one on my lips is it's not super glittery in person. It just gives a really nice glow to the lips. Like I asked my husband, I was like, do my lips look like they're covered in glitter? And he's like, no, not at all. I just wanted to show you it bare on my lips, but how I like to wear it is over top of a lip liner. But this one here, the fruit pigmented juicy lip gloss is not sticky at all. It has, it's like just kind of your normal non-sticky lip gloss. And it has a little, it doesn't have any glitter in it. And it does tint my lips pink a little bit, but it's not as long lasting as the gemmed one because the gemmed one is sticky so it stays on your lips longer. But yeah, they're completely different formulas. So if you want a non-sticky lip gloss, I recommend the not gemmed lip gloss. But if you want a sticky lip gloss, I recommend the gemmed one. So that's kind of that. And they're, they both are moisturizing. Um, neither one, like I said, super pigmented. This one does tint your lips a little bit. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But I thought I should let you know about that because you would think that they were the same kind of lip gloss formula, but they're not. Next up, I have the Lip Glaze, and I have the shade here in Elderberry. And I really, once again, like the packaging. I like 100% pure packaging. This is a really nice little bullet, and you, the cap is very firmly attached. So you kind of have to give it a good pull to pull it off, and then the uh, Lip Glaze twists up like this. So the packaging has a nice weight to this. Like, this is weighty in your hand. You can definitely feel it. So that is nice. This. So this lip glaze is something that I, when I looked at it online and I read about it, I was like, I will never like that product. That is just not the kind of product that I like. Why would I want a kind of tinted lip glaze? Because as you are seeing in this video, my natural lips don't have pigment. So I have to have some sort of lipstick with quite a bit of pigment to really help with the fact that, you know, I would like for my lips to actually have color. But I was surprised by this product and I was surprised by how it feels and also by the amount of pigment it has. When you put it on, the best way to describe it is a lip balm. So it feels super emollient. It's not like a lip gloss at all. It doesn't have any sticky, it's not wet. It's more almost oily. I know that sounds weird and bad, but it's almost more oily. And the best 
thing I put on my lips that felt like that is a lip, uh, like a lip balm, like, you know, the kind you twist up from Burt's Bees or something like that is what it feels like to me. It's really moisturizing, which has been really nice this winter. I've really enjoyed wearing it because of the moisturizing factor. And as you can see, it does provide uh, pigment to my lips and I can, as you'll see in the video, I kind of can build it up a little bit um, by going over my lips a few times and add some more color to it. It is longer wearing than I thought it would be. It's not like the semi-matte lipstick. It's not super long wearing, but it does wear better than just most lip glosses and it does fade to a stain kind of. So even when it's the moisturizing feel is gone, it's my lips aren't completely naked, which is nice. And also this is something easy I find to just reapply at my desk because it's not super pigmented. You don't need a mirror and you don't have to go to the bathroom and like really carefully follow your lines. You could just kind of smear it around, rub your lips, you're good to go. The other thing about it is it does transfer easily. If I kiss my husband while wearing this, definitely going to come off on him and it's definitely going to be missing from my lips. So that's something to keep in mind. But if you're looking for something that's kind of like a tinted lip balm, but actually more tinted than what you consider a tinted lip balm, this is a really great product. And I think this is gonna be really great for just like when my lips are super dry and I really need some help, this will be great. And also if I'm just running around doing errands, I don't wanna put on a full face of makeup, but I wanna add a little color to my lips, I will be reaching for this as well. I really think I'm going to pick up some more colors of this cause this, I've been surprised by it and I really like it. So next up, I have the product that really got me into 100% pure lipsticks. And this is the Lip Cream Stick. And I have the shades Perfect Naked Pink and Perfect Naked Pout. And I have Perfect Naked Pink on my lips. I was gonna show you Perfect Naked Pout and then I realized it's lim it was limited edition. So that probably was the least helpful color to show you. So I wanted to show you this one that you can actually purchase. And this is what got me looking into 100% pure lipsticks because I have loved this pencil. So this is a pencil and you have to sharpen it and it's hard, it is a little bit hard to sharpen. You have to be careful. The lip product itself is so soft that it can just kind of mush in the sharpener if you're not careful. So you have to be kind of, the best way I can describe it is you have to pay attention and be cognizant. You can't just stick it in the sharpener and go rrr, rrr, rrr. You have to stick it in there and watch it and turn it slowly. So if you do that, it's fine. If you don't, then you're gonna end up with a mush mess. With this, it goes on really creamy and really moisturizing, but after time, it does kind of dry down a bit. It doesn't stay as creamy. And in fact, it can get a little bit drying, but when that happens, I'll just kind of dab a little bit on. I don't even have to do a full coat again because the color is still out. I'll just dab a little bit more on, rub my lips together, and voila, I'm moisturized again. So that works. Even once it does start to dry down, it does transfer some. So if I kiss my husband, like some will come off on him, but I find that it is much less transfer proof than just, you know, most lipsticks. I find that the color stays on me a long time. Like I said, it will kind of, my lips will get dry and I'll want to reapply it to get some more moisture before the color is actually gone. So I like that, you know, if I'm in lab and I'm working and I don't want to be bothered with having to reapply lipstick all the time, this is great for that. Also, I really like this color. Like this is just such a natural pink color and it just, I don't know why I love it, but I really, really do. And it's kind of when I don't know what lipstick to look, that'll look good with my makeup look, I know that this will, this will just, it'll be a very neutral. It won't clash with anything. Overall, I definitely recommend checking this out or checking out one of the other colors. Um, like I said, I have two of them. I'm still really happy with both of them. It's pretty impressive if you fall in love with the product so much that it makes you want to try every other lip product from that brand to see if they all stand up to this. I have their Fruit Pigmented Pomegranate Oil Anti-Aging Lipstick in the color Fox Glove. And once again, this is lovely packaging. It's not as weighty as the Fruit Glaze, like it's not heavy like that one is, 
but it, it is nice and compact to throw in your purse so I like that about it and this color is one of those colors where I thought I knew what color I was going to get and it ended up being completely different luckily I ended up really liking it these anti-aging lipsticks really compare to me in terms of formula with the lip cream stick so I really come to like this. So when you first apply it, it definitely does have a scent. Actually, most of these lip products do have some sort of scent. It's a very natural scent. It's kind of, well, because they're dyed using fruit pigments, it seems to me it's a very kind of fruity scent, which I don't mind at all. And it does fade. Like after you put it, like when you're applying it, yeah, you smell it because it's like right under your nose and you're holding the entire, you know, container or bullet of lipstick right under your nose, but it does fade after time. I don't notice it once I get it on my lips. This one, once again, uh, goes on very creamy, but it does dry down with time. It does kind of dry out your lips a little bit with time, but once again, like the lip cream stick, if I just kind of dab it on and reapply it, that works really well. It transfers a little bit, like once again, if I kiss my husband, it's gonna transfer on him some, but really not that much. And also once, even when it does transfer, like it's still, I have a nice coat of color on my lips. There's not like an obvious spots where it's missing. It fades really uniformly throughout the day. It doesn't look patchy and it does, the color does last. Like it's not, it's one of those lipsticks where I will go through my morning, I will eat lunch, I'll go to the bathroom. I'm like, yeah, I should touch it up a little, but you know, I wouldn't, I don't necessarily have to. It doesn't look bad if I don't choose to reapply it. My main opinion of this is that it's very close to the lip cream stick, but if you don't want a pencil that you have to sharpen and all of that, then I would say check these out because they're very similar in terms of transferring, in terms of how long lasting they are, in terms of how moisturizing they are. Um, it's just you don't have to sharpen it. It comes in a bullet. I believe these are a little bit more expensive because of that, but once again, it's just a trade-off of what's more important to you. And also these have a much larger shade range too, whereas with the lip cream sticks, you can basically only get shades of kind of a neutral rosy pink. And with this one, you can go all the way to reds. And I believe there are some like pretty bright pinks and kind of orangier colors as well. The last formula here I have is their lip caramel and I have the color cherry cordial and I will apologize because I applied this without a lip liner but I wanted to do that so you could really just see the product on its own and see how it um, you know looks without a lip liner and I had a little bit of a hard time applying it because my lips have swollen up from putting all these lip products on and then removing them and putting another one on I can actually tell my lips are swollen so it was really weird to try and like put lipstick on with a doe foot applicator because my lips are not the same shape that they normally are. So this looks kind of like a lip gloss. It comes in a tube with a doe foot applicator. Once again, really nice packaging. Um, the doe foot applicator is a very nice shape. It makes it, um, you know, when your lips aren't swollen, it's easy to apply the lipstick with it. And this is the closest thing that 100% uh, Pure has to a liquid lipstick. And I don't know if you can tell right now, but it is still super wet on my lips. And even though this is like a liquid lipstick, it takes a long time to dry. It stays in this like liquid state for a couple hours, really. It's like, I think really the two, two and a half hour mark is when I find this really starting to dry down. It's weird. It's kind of like a lip gloss, but obviously it's super pigmented. If you want something like that, then this is a good product, but for me, it just was not my favorite. It transfers a lot because it is still a liquid. So if I go to drink something right now, then my lipstick is going to be all over the coffee mug. If I kiss my husband, it is going to all go off on him. If I kiss my hand like that is what comes off of my hand. It is, it transfers a lot. And 
So that is really frustrating about it. And even once it dries, it still transfers. It's just, it's too much of a mess. And then, and then, and this isn't the end of it. So then I found that when I wear it, even once it does dry, it bleeds and feathers. So it gets out of the lines of my lips, bleeds up into the fine lines, and it just looks really weird and really bad when that happens. And I tried it with a lip liner thinking, you know, cause that's the point of wearing a lip liner is to kind of help prevent that from happening. That did not help at all. Did not help whatsoever. So I still bled and feathered even with the lip liner. So, and it's really accentuated because this is such a kind of bright, vibrant color. It makes that even more obvious. It's probably not as bad with some of the lighter colors, but if you are looking for a dark color in this, it's really not good with that in that regard. So this is by far my least favorite formula. It's too much of a hassle for me. I'm not into lipsticks that transfer all over the place and then bleed and feather and it's just, it's not working for me. So out of all of them, this is definitely not, not my favorite. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and entertaining and whew, that was, I'm tired. That took a lot out of me. <laughs> that was a lot to go through. My voice is kind of gone. So I will um, say goodbye to you guys for now. Please check out some of my other videos and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, um, check out my Instagram at naturallybeautifulgirl and let me know down in the comment section down below if you found this kind of video useful to kind of do these like comprehensive comparison videos. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.